It's what I told him yesterday. When you're gonna sit down. That's an Irish one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Nick, you couldn't go anywhere without finding a clay pipe bowl, did you? No, clearly not. Yeah. It's Irish. Definitely. <laughs> well, that's the first. Has to be me, isn't it? Well done. Yeah. All right, mud lovers, how you doing? We hi, hi. are here. I'm with Nicola White and the wonderful Ard Mudbagger. Wonderful <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't seen his videos, go and check him out. He finds some wonderful stuff. And he's kindly invited myself and Nicola to come and search with him today at this wonderful secret location. And you might be able to see behind us, there's bits of pottery all ready to be found. I'm excited. So Ard, what do you think, what sort of things we're gonna to find today then? Uh, lots of marbles, <laughs> a couple of coins, some religions, pendants, a cross or two, a medal, uh, some gold. That would be lovely. A thimble. Uh, that, <laughs> that will sum it up, uh, really. There we go. <laughs> that's the sort of things I'd find here. There's a wonderful um, amount of history to be found. And I'm sure together we can get some luck in the muck, right, Nick? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to getting some luck in the muck. Thank you for inviting us on. Oh, I'm so glad the most famous Thames mudlarkers are here. <laughs> the empress of the Thames <laughs> and the master of the mud. So, <laughs> you're uh, great people we'll and you're, we'll, you're welcome here. We'll find accolades. Right, let's go. Let's go and find some treasure and luck in the muck. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's Queen Victoria. How you doing, Mal? <laughs> <laughs> So, just seen this line down here, first find. Ooh, it's like a nice, sort of pendant-y, flowery, pressed glass, uh, pressed brass, should I say. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That'll clean up nicely, actually. That'll come up looking like gold, hopefully. Well, <laughs> oh, I just found a cool little thing. Japanese inspired little key fob. Is it or something like that? Or Yes, scarf, buckle. What is it, sorry? Scarf, buckle. Oh, scarf buckle, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, very nice. But uh, All the enamels in there as well, isn't it? Pretty much. Could yeah. be some kind of a key fob as well. Yeah, oh, I like that. But uh, for what it is, enameled uh, brass, it's in top condition. Well done. And I hope there will be a name uh, visible at the back side. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Fab. Yeah. Well done. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lovely red marble. A bit rarer than the normal kind. Beautiful. Having a little scrape about here. And this just popped out. Oh, could be a nice bit of silver there. Yeah, can't really work out what's on there to be honest. De definitely some decoration on there. I'll put it with the other bits and pieces. So after a fizz and a test is indeed silver. Just not exactly sure what it's from. Maybe a ring or cufflink or a pendant. If you think you know, comment below. Had a little whoop of joy from over here. What have you found, mud lover? Well, I've got. Well, I thought it was just a. It looks like a spoon. Well, it is a spoon. Uh, head, I suppose. And because uh, it wasn't the usual coppery colour, I thought it might be silver. So I've just done the silver test, which involves just getting a little bit of saliva on the spoon and then giving it a rub and you can smell it and it smells of like a sulfury kind of eggy smell which means we have a silver spoon head fantastic yeah so i, I might smell uh, it 
Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's not a bad breath, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got some silver. Yeah, nice chunky silver head instead of a spoon. Another little coin popped out. Oldie. 100 year old coin. See a bust on there. Looking left. Yeah, coin. This is random. This little fella here, it's got a little face on. <laughs> Thought someone made it, maybe. Maybe his little gift for a child or something, or maybe it was uh, something that the kids did in school. Oh, it's like a little bell in my face, but a very crude one. <laughs> Let's get some luck in the mark. Do you see it? <laughs> what was it? What were we looking for? Button. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, we'll have a look for a button. Two common buttons. That's a bead. Oh. <laughs> it's a lead tube. Oh yeah. Sneaky. Disguise as <laughs> bead. That's right. Oh, uh, send a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just kindly uh, given me this beautiful military badge. Button, sorry. Uh, and where would this have come from then? Odd? Uh, I think it's from uh, a train company. Oh, in, nice. Uh, probably in Antwerp or. Oh, so it's tramways. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. brilliant. Silver oh, plate. Yeah, Antwerp. But. Uh, tramways. Oh, thanks, dude. It all cleaned up nicely. Sure. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Cracking. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Antwerp in Belgium has had a tram network since 1873. But did you know that before electric trams, they used horsepower? These initial horse trams were an improvement on the traditional horse and carriage, which was bumpy and expensive. These public trams were the first kind of short haul public transport. This button dates to the 1930s or 40s when trams had inspectors. Unlike London, trams are still used today in Antwerp and also other major European cities. I for one would love to see them return to London. A special little ring yeah nice and i'm afraid something is really missing there up front that's nice uh, though, probably a black stone yeah like onyx would have had little stones on the side as yeah, well there yeah, yeah. very nice but, uh, it's not valuable well that's a good point i yeah. love it <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just started to rain on the foreshore and i just uh, had these little things up this one looks like a little Little pendant. Not sure if we'll get anything off that. And this little interesting thing could be a coin, could be another pendant. But there is some writing on the top edge. Just there, I think. So we'll clean that up later and see what it is. Well, it's raining. Uh, but we're having some good finds up, and I've just found some gold come and take a look oh wipe the lens because it's getting wet but let's there look it's a little bit of gold unmistakably probably an earring and it's even got a little stone in there so that might even be i don't know a little emerald perhaps excellent quite a bit of gold yeah, sadly that one's gone, but I oh, will take that. Woohoo! I'd found some gold earlier as well, so uh, yeah, we're having a bit of a gold day. He found an earring, a little gold earring. Excellent. Stick around because later on I'll be doing a giveaway where you could win one of two rings made using this gold. Well, here we are. You see that there, little cuff link. There's anything on it. Oh, a little bit of decoration, maybe. <laughs> One for you, cuffs. <laughs> oh, just, just flicked up. Looks like a ring to me. Thin one side and thick the other. Little uh, poor man's ring, a poor woman's ring. Only made of brass, but still quite cute. And just up here, a little spoon. I don't know if that's silver. Oh, that's a little teaspoon. Very cute though. A little stainless steel. 
Not like the silver one I had earlier. Nice little area here. Got a bit of metal work, old knives, bits of copper. And also spotted something down here, look. Looks like it kind of looks like a catch plate. Ooh, oh, look at that. It's very pretty. Not one little stone left on it, though. <laughs> that would look gorgeous back in the day. It's very pretty, though. I'm sure at some point I could upcycle that. I love this place. Nick's gone off to uh, explore pastures new, so we'll see what she finds when she comes back. In the meantime, I'm going to keep looking around here. Well, here we have a bottle. It's a nice embossing on this, actually. Usage, external, something else. Oh, yeah, nice sucky sound. Yeah, not sure what that says. I'm not going to start pronouncing that, but... Yeah, nice little amber bottle. Oh, I wonder what that was. Probably some sort of detergent or something. Maybe a lotion. This nice amber medicine bottle has the words usage extern and also has the Dutch equivalent meaning external use. What a nice little thing. A little pendant, little teardrop, pink. Probably off an earring or something. That's nice. Yeah, Nick, I've had a bit of luck in the muck, if I can stand still. What have you got? Ooh, you've got gold. Yeah, baby. Woo, look at you, you've joined the gold club. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. It's got a little so worm. dainty and delicate, isn't it? Just like me. You're going to wear it? Yeah, why not? go out to get something sweet later. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's yeah, it's, very um, special. There's a little stone there as well. Yeah. It might be a little emerald or something. It's green, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Put it safely back in there. Congratulations. Cheers. How about you? Yeah, I found some amazing glass. Oh, cool. I, I'm so happy about it. I've got you some lovely pieces too. Oh, excellent. Lovely big blue chunky bit here. Yeah. See, that, that will work nicely. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Fab. Right, oh, I don't know where to go now. Oh, I love mud larking in the rain. Not. I think I found a bit more bling. Ooh, yeah. That's a clip on earring. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the shiny on that. Funny costume jewelry, but always a pleasure to find. Oh, the rain started again. But I've just flicked this out. I think it's a little medal. It was like that, I thought it was a coin. And uh, yeah, it's actually got a thing on the top. That could be lovely. Let's take it down the water's edge and um, give it a little wash. Woohoo! Cool, what's that? It's like a tractor. Oh yeah, Massey. Harris. Pretty sure they made tractors. Oh, they did. <laughs> Little tractor medal. What oh, that was for them. Best tractor in show. <laughs> How bizarre. Well, as cool as it was, I was at a bit of a loss as to what this medal or keyring was actually for. I couldn't find any others like it online. I did, however, find out that Daniel Massey and Allenson Harris merged to form Massey Harris in 1891 in Toronto, Canada. He later became Massey Harris Ferguson from 1953. So to find out more, I posted it on the Massey and Harris Facebook tractor page. It seems there's a site for every niche of interest these days. <laughs> it was suggested that it might be a fob from a pocket watch chain. Gentlemen would have charms attached to their watches so that the chain could hang out of their waistcoat so they could easily get to their watch. The small tractor on the other side is most likely a model pony made in France, produced for 10 years and designed for small operations. 
I like to think this medal stroke fob was given as a prize at the Tractor Awards at Tractorfest 49 and was won by Monsieur Fumier for ploughing the field into the shape of a tipsy bishop. <laughs> Either that or he won the longest jump. And I have photographic proof of the latter here. Who and how do you think won the fob medal? Leave your comments below and we'll all have a giggle. Well, the rain has stopped, thank goodness. Getting a bit cold there. <laughs> but here's a nice little bag still. Yeah, not sure where that's from, but would have had bale of hay or sugar, flour, wool, whatever that was importing. It's quite a nice one. And a little bit of silver. It's like a little silver earring. Lots of jewellery coming up, which is fantastic. Well, you know, I'm just having a little scrape about here. Oh, firstly, there's a tiny little bead. Cool, how did I spot that? Nice. Put you over there. But more interestingly than that, there's a silver chain. And it's buried. So, I don't see if there's anything on the other end. See there? So I'm just going to use my fingers follow it up and hopefully there'll be something on the end of it maybe maybe not <gasps> oh, I broke damn it I'll put that bit there it's also a coin there look this place is loaded anyway on the other end Oh, there he goes in there. Ah, oh, sadly not. But a nice little silver chain anyway. If you can see that amongst all the uh, sand. <laughs> well guys, as you may know, my friend Nicola, she makes wonderful glass fish like collages and they're, they're, they're wonderful so she's having a ball of a time finding loads of lovely colorful pieces of glass and she's actually going to make me one with some of the glass that i found as well i like the ones with the impressed uh, writing on so uh we'll see how that turns out um so yeah hopefully she's done it by the time the video goes out if not you'll see it probably on the community post anyway these glass fish are gorgeous and she sometimes uses marbles as the eyes in fact she always uses marbles or beads as the eyes and i found a really cool little eye down here for her I thought it was an actual fish eye. It's that convincing. Come take a look. Look at that beady little eye staring back at you. I don't even know what it is. But isn't that the perfect fish eye? I mean, maybe it was part of a toy or something back in the day, but that is going to make her very happy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> There's nice bits of metal work around here and uh, just flick this out. Little dependent -y thing. Let's have a look and see what it says. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I've no idea what that means, but I like it. Yeah, it's like a um, little shield, coat of arms. Yeah, do some research on that. So once I cleaned this little charm, I could see their reeds Cote d'Azur, meaning French Riviera. I should have recognised it because I've been there. Me and some pals went on a, what was then called an Easy Cruise, run by the same budget airline as EasyJet. And it was a great week, visiting Saint-Tropez, Cannes, Nice, Monaco and Portofino. Funnily enough, Sky were filming a documentary called Cruise with Stelios the same time that we were there. 
and somewhere in the vaults features a young me getting trousered with my mates. So good luck if you want to try and dig that one out. Uh, series one, I think, but don't quote me on that. It was over 16 years ago. Get up, Nick. I've just found a really lovely Ooh. thing. It's Madonna and Child, look. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I thought it was the Eiffel Tower at first. <laughs> when I saw it lying there, but it's actually Mary and Jesus. Oh, yeah, how pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? What's it made from? Um, is it lead? It is lead. Looks, looks like it's lead. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. it's like the finial of something, wouldn't it? Mm. That's real cool. It's almost like abstract, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's very nice. Well done. Very happy with that. So I've just spotted a beautiful button down there. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Excellent. Well, you know, it's been a good day. I think it's time now for a beer. Well, mud lovers, what a fantastic mud larking trip that was. Many thanks to Ard for inviting us over there, and of course, Nicola. So go and check out Ard's channel if you get a chance. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and so, yeah, amazing finds. We had a bit of silver, a very nice bit of gold, and buttons, and pendants, and jewellery, and all sorts. What was your favourite find? I think mine's got to be the old tractor medal there. I'm not sure what that was from, but really, really cool. So I thought it was about time to do another giveaway on the channel. It's been a little while. So I gave the gold that I found and the silver to my good friend, Wendy, from Clark's Jewelry. A link for her folksy store will be in the description below. Go and check out her store. She does Thames inspired rings, pendants, earrings, and all sorts, including this lovely padlock necklace that I'm wearing today. <laughs> so she's taken that little spoon bowl, which is a bowl, not a head, uh, and the piece of gold, and she's created these two wonderful pirate rings. She's taken the inspiration from Thames and Mudlarkin and created this wonderful little collage using the gold and the silver, not from the bowl, but from some other silver because she had a bit of a problem trying to melt it down. But anyway, she's used lovely brand new silver and added her own artistic twists. And if you remember, one of them actually had an emerald in, but after a close inspection, Wendy tells me that the emerald is a bit scuffed and a bit manky. So what she's done is taken that one out and replaced both of them with a wonderful dark, deep red Thames garnet. And those earrings were 22 or 24 karat gold. There's no hallmark, but Wendy tested them, so there's good quality gold in there. So to be with a chance of winning one of these fantastic adjustable rings, that's right, they're adjustable, they'll fit any pork sausage fingers, and they're for any gender as well. So what you need to do is share your favorite Sci-Finds video. Do that by using Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, or whatever social media outlet you have. Or if you haven't got any of that, just tell a friend or tell the birds or whoever. And so more people come and watch the videos and I can keep creating these uh, videos for your enjoyment. Once you've done that, once you've shared it, come back here, leave a comment, uh, whatever you want to say, and then put the word hashtag shared. And that way, when I do the draw in the coming weeks, your name will be in the hat. So there we go. It's easy as that. Good luck, mud lovers. Um, I hope you enter and have a fantastic couple of weeks. And I'll speak to you soon when we're going to do the draw, find out who wins. Until then... Hope you enjoyed this mud venture and I'll see you on the next one. See you later mud lovers. <laughs>